man, do you know what this is? Let me get what I want. If I was president, I get elected on Friday. Yes, I committed on Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> How you doing, my reggae brother? Uh, hey, <laughs> what are you doing? What happened to Paul? Jimmy, come on. You know, I did that open probably 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And? I found it two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. Well, I would like to say good afternoon and welcome to the show. I am your host, Isaac Wallace, and this is Paul the Handsome One Herring. This is an excellent Friday afternoon. The weather is beautiful here at WFOV, and I am happy to be here. Paul, looking cool and stellar as usual. Yeah, I'm getting there. Yeah, we got to get you some of those bars or whatever so you can be like, be like those guys that take over the countries and they got like the 57 medals and all that. No. Whatever it's called. I don't want to be militaristic. <laughs> I don't want to be militaristic at all. No, no, that's not how your brain works. Right? But the minute we get done with the show, I'm going to have to return this call, okay? You know yeah. I mean? No, that just happened. What? That's all right. That's, that's, that's doable. That's doable. That's doable. We that's just doable. had a guy walk by with a blanket on, which is pretty no, great. that's not a blanket. It's that's an Afghan on his head. That's a hygiene, dude. That is not. It is. It isn't. Unless his aunt made it. And it wasn't a dude. That's not true. It. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you said was just not true. And I'm glad that you're listening and didn't get to see that. Moving on. Oh, my gosh. So, Paul had asked me to stay away from Florida, and I am trying not to beat Florida to death. And we did We did a bunch of different people on our stupid stupid. Stupid criminals, and Lord knows I don't know how your week was, but my week was a little tough this week, but we get to end on a happy note, and I'm here with my buddy. What was wrong with your week? So what happened was... You had a wonderful event over at the VFW. We had a great event. You're going to have other events over the summertime. What are you trying to say to me? So what happened was... <laughs> Is that our veteran event at the VFW Davidson went well. We got two or three more events coming, all free for veterans, uh -huh. which is great. And uh, But it's the recovery, the whole brain injury part, and the recovery is like three days. And then the weather changed, just the migraines and stuff was a little tough. And then to make it really good is uh, we started getting a stain on the roof of our house. We found out we had a leak coming from the tub. Of course, it's over the fridge, and we got it worked out, but it was a, it was a thing. It was a thing. Anyways, moving on. Other than that, so smooth. many images rolling through my head now. I, the tub on top of the refrigerator, on the second floor. You said obviously was, did it break through? The leak something. Just water, but the tub didn't come down. No, oh, no, no, no. That's not what I meant. It was just leaking. They had to cut a hole and then and seen another and episode thing with the guy and the stuff and the do-it-yourself guys are full of crap. And that's all I'm saying. That's all okay. you're saying. Yeah, I had to call a professional. <laughs> and they were very professional and took care of me. It was very good. And uh, his <laughs> name is... Don't, 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 no free plugs. Right. I will not tell you what his name is, but he okay. was awesome. Yeah. And you want to know what his name is, you just call us at 810-259-9789. <laughs> then we can get that out to you. Now, looking for funny things, I found a gem what? in what New you know? York. It's not to be out... Do you know there's some crazy people in New York? Did you know that? No. Yeah. No, 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 no. New York is the most, well, other than the subway. If you New say York, stable, <laughs> if you say stable, we're going to have a, we're going to fight. Above ground, New York has some of the best people. Oh, yeah? What happens below ground? I'm just asking. You don't want to know. I don't want to know? You don't want to know. The fact that you know makes me know that you've been down there, and that tells me more about you than it does me. That's <laughs> <laughs> I say all it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so <clears throat> I found this thing on New York Post called Weird But True. Weird But True, okay. And the one that came up now, our, our last show, which you have to hit, the first one was the peace stained designer jeans for $600. It was just a thing. You got to see the whole story. ordered a pair. Of course you ordered a pair. Now, <laughs> next ones you're going to have are the feces design. <laughs> well, it was the baby version. You know, it was for toddlers. <laughs> It's going to have, like, this spiral pattern on the butt cheeks and stuff. All right, moving on, Nasty. So I was looking through this, and they got some stuff on here, guys. And and, and like I said, if you had 
a rough week. You are about to have some laughs. So here we go. A couple, this is a true story, by the way. A couple accidentally ships their pet cat in an Amazon return box, obviously stunning the warehouse worker. Now, have you ever shipped an animal on accident? Uh, I am not going to confess to anything that could cause me litigation. Uh, moving on. All right. Uh, so this one starts off with the cat is out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> a pet kitty survived almost a week without food or water after being accidentally shipped off in an Amazon return box by its owners. The feline, named Galena, was found inside the box by a startled employee at an Amazon warehouse in California. Can you imagine the box is ding, 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 ding. Uh, you know, I don't know. Anyway, so... Uh, uh, California, on April 17th, six days after disappearing from her home in Utah. This happened in Utah. I don't know what the rules are out there. We should look at them. I didn't believe it at first, uh, said the worker. She thought it was a prank. Uh, kitty owner Carrie Clark told local news outside KLS-TV of the moment she learned her beloved Pat was alive. Now, the cat made it through the shipping all the way into the warehouse. That means from the house to the truck, from the truck, separated in packages, and then has a great picture, right, online, which I think you're showing up now, mm -hmm. lady with the blue hair. Uh, Clark first noticed Galena had gone missing on April 10th, three days after she shipped the cat, uh, prompting a frantic search of their neighborhood for any sign of the missing animal. Galena is a huge emotional support to me and has helped me to get through many health uh, challenges over the past six years, Clark explained. I'm yeah. calling book. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> the anxiety and stress of not knowing what happened, I'm not answering that, it was excruciating. And that's why it took her three days to realize the cat was missing. Uh, uh, I'm thinking this is just a commercial for Prime. Of course you're thinking it's a commercial you know, for Prime. Don't risk your cat dying if you accidentally ship three days. How many times do you think people ship their... The cat probably jumped in the box. I think it's a bigger problem. And then she... I think it's a bigger problem than you think. There's probably What's cat, in the box? There's probably cat shipping insurance that you can get. Homeowners on your homeowners policy. Cat shipping insurance? Cats are... Cats do that kind of stuff. They will jump in a box and, and go to sleep under some stuff. I bet you the Goodwill finds more cats than... The this Amazon. is the crap that he puts out that I have no idea what you're talking about. Nobody has any idea. Cat shipping insurance. Moving on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm seeing business opportunities where business opportunities exist. Okay, oh, so if saying. you need cat shipping insurance, please call. Moving on. I'm sure it happens more than we know. Man, I hope not. Because that means there's a lot of people who are not paying attention to their kitty. You know, cats l let you live with them. So it's not a matter of paying attention. It's a matter of not paying attention. That was that was actually <laughs> my entire point. Very good. The vet explained after they checked the cat out uh, that was brought in by an Amazon co-worker named Brandy who found the feline in a return box with Clark's home address on it. That's how they got a hold of him. I ran to tell my husband that Galena was found, and we broke down upon realizing that she must have jumped into an oversized box that we had shipped the previous Wednesday, Clark said the box was a try before you buy and filled with steel-toed work boots, she explained. So the cat jumped into the box with the work boots, and then they taped it up and shipped it out. After uh, talking to the vet, I got uh, Brandy on the phone. They took pictures. They met. It's a very good story. Cat's back home, and Bob's your uncle. But the story is they shipped the cat. That could have gone wrong. That could have gone and way... Oh, could you imagine a guy in the returns department at Amazon? Okay, first of all, if I'm sitting there and I'm working, <laughs> I see a box starting to bounce, like I'm not touching that oh, box. It wouldn't be bouncing. <laughs> oh, no. Bouncing would be a good and curious thing. It would oh. be the smell that would uh, concern me. Oh, <laughs> uh, and you could be the person, yeah, hey, I didn't like these steel toad boots and, and there's a dead say, cat in there. We're not refunding the boots <laughs> oh yeah i'm sorry but i've taken that as a threat oh man speaking of cat stories there's a follow-up to this and oh, this no. is again yeah yeah a follow up to yeah the... so this is a different cat story yeah but it wasn't it wasn't shipped this time but the cat was tripped over and it caused car crash like injuries to its owner 
car crash injuries. Now, first of all, this is one of those hairless, weird-looking cats. Oh, one of those ugly sons of guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The all skin. They're so ugly. I forget the name. Comment and tell us what it is. I can't remember right now. Whatever those are called. So it says, uh, the title says, I'm lucky to be alive after sustaining car crash type injuries, tripping over my cat. And gives a picture of this guy that is, uh, well, middle-aged 60 guy. 60 years old, it says. Yeah. Oh, that cat looks like he did it on purpose. That. That cat did that. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Keep on. That, like, if there's an animal that looks like it might have potential for evil. Like it, <laughs> you guys, look at the video that Paul's putting up. It, it has no fur. It's all skin. It looks like an 80-year-old man, but its eyes, it makes its eyes more pronounced because I don't think there's fur. Oh, my goodness. That's horrible. All right. So here's what happened. A U- of course, it was the UK. This makes more sense now. A uh, UK man miraculously survives after, after sustaining a broken neck, fractured spine, smashed ribs, and blood in his lungs, and other car crash evoking injuries from, wait for this, tripping over his cat. He says nothing about the meth pipe he had in his hand. Listen, we're not. <laughs> listen, that's back with the alligator. <laughs> they got. Uh, he says, I can't remember much. <laughs> the cat comes in and then he just remembers falling fast. Oh, man. It was quick and it was over within seconds. Then I was at the bottom. Uh, they call him the victim. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Chris Rowley, 59, told the mirror, the freak apocalypse meow <laughs> uh, accident reportedly occurred on the evening of October 23rd Why, while uh, the light shirt-based professional musician was home alone with his hairless Egyptian sphinx kitten. That's what that thing is. Those things, what is it, probably two grand for that thing? Man. Listen. Okay, go for it. I don't know. I don't know. That cat, just, you guys tell me. All right. Uh, you t- Listen, put in the comments if you think that cat is cute or something else. All right? Those are the two Those are the two options you want to put in. That cat, Egyptian hairless kitten. All right. Disaster struck after the wrinkly kitty, apparently feeling playful, dove out and latched onto one of its owner's legs uh, while he was coming down the stairs. So it attacked him, and then he fell down the stairs. It took a bit of a chunk out of my leg. Then I lost my footing going down the stairs. Describe, this This sounds not good. Uh, Describe Raleigh, who reportedly tumbled down 14 steps before arriving at the bottom. Why are you laughing? Why are you I'm laughing? Not, you're making me laugh. Stop, stop it. Where did they lay? <laughs> I'm laughing at you! Before arriving at the bottom where he lay unable to move when his feline put the hell in Hello Kitty. Oh my goodness. Look at the picture. Dude, can you bring that? This one where it's got the neck brace on with the cat in the middle. Oh my goodness. And then he's... Comp- oh my goodness. A broken back. Oh gosh, that picture is just... Uh, the massively injured man didn't realize... The extent of his injuries at the time. However, paramedics later revealed that he had suffered a fractured skull, a broken bone in the neck, two fractures in his spine, nine broken ribs, and each rib had multiple fractures. And then I had a bit of blood in his lungs, uh, Eric said. Meanwhile, uh, the cat remained completely unharmed. <laughs> what is happening? I think I'm okay with my tub leaking. Oh my gosh! I know oh, the water. Could you imagine? I tell you what happened. All right, I know that this cat did not bite him. He stuck his paw out and tripped him on purpose. Dude, look at the picture of that cat. If that, I would. That cat is terrifying. Oh my gosh! Can you imagine having to tell your wife and kids a story? So what happened I mean, was... They must have found him at the bottom of the stairs. I oh, mean, my gosh. Were they there at the time? Uh, Raleigh's wife, Jackie, and children, uh, care worker, were working nights and was therefore unable to come to his aid. As a result, uh, Britt had to lie unattended to for 14 hours in a pool of his own blood. 
thanks to his cat. His phone was dead. He couldn't get up. Uh, it was the hardest. Uh, he said it was the hardest sensation of his life. It's almost like claustrophobia, he explained. Uh, you can't get out. You can't physically get anywhere or do anything. And then they put a picture of this cat. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why I can't get a picture of the cat. I, I don't, don't know, know why you can't can either. And, uh, I don't know. I, I can tell you what kind of animal I'm not going to be purchasing for my house, though. It is a Egyptian hairless uh, kitten. That's for sure. It wasn't named until the next morning when uh, his wife came home from work and discovered her husband. Uh, at the bottom of the steps, and uh, she could she didn't get home till eight thirty in the morning, and that, that happened at seven at night. So he was sitting there all night. Oh my goodness! That I wonder is a... where the stairs go to. What? He fell downstairs. Is it to the basement? To the front door? To the bedroom? Where did the bottom stairs of the go? steps? Right, like so right by the front door. So right where the front door comes in. So he was stuck between the floor, and so she yeah, so probably he's probably cracked he... in the head when she opened the front door. <laughs> Oh, that's for good measure. Oh, my goodness. And this is the point in the show that we do our shout-out, Paul. Are you ready? It's my turn. It is your is turn. Is it my turn? All right, hold on. Let me get the camera. Hit right. me, Seymour. Let me Hit get me. this right here. Right. Feed me, Seymour. I can look at this camera here. And I can... yeah, get, get, get the glasses in. And here we go. WFOV. 92.1 LPFM Flint. It's our voices radio. And I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to tell you a story. I, I was in Nashville. Stop. I was in Nashville. And I was at my favorite restaurant. Can I say what they are? No, say. free shout outs, you said. Say, it sounds like awful mouse. Maybe I shouldn't have used those two words. <laughs> Who? They're not going to be happy. But I was there. I was there. And my waitress, of course, was a. A Bunning Star. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Her name is Satin. Uh oh. Satin Elise. Okay. Satin Elise. You can check her out on YouTube. Satin Elise. And she played me. I said, I need I need clean music. She said, It's clean. Okay. And not she didn't play it for me. She sung it for me. At the restaurant. At the Waffle House and got a Was it a good? Ball. It was good. Acapella wasn't supposed to be, but it was good. She got an applause. So that's how easy it is to get music on WFOV. It, that's it. It just has to be clean. 810-259-9789. What more can I tell you? Clean music. Clean music. You, churches, I hope your music's clean. <laughs> Let's get some choirs, man. We can do that. We can do that all day long. 810-259-9789. WFOV. Our Voices Radio. We're determined to make a difference, but we need you to, too. Right? That's right. Right? Now, I'm not going to tell them about public access. It's just overload. I don't think they can handle all that. They're already running around looking it's for It's a place them. to be seen. Man. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. 239-2901 if you want to get your TV on. Who doesn't want to be on TV? People. A lot of people don't a lot want to be of people, A lot of people will say... A lot of people got fo faces for radio. Is that what you're trying to say? Well, I'm just asking. I understand you're the president of the club. <laughs> and not only am I a member. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Thank you for that shout-out. Now, back to the show. We're going over to Flint B, FlintBeat.com, our great source for Flint information. And they got a very cool event they did last year. They're doing it again this year. What did Flint B do? Well... They are doing the Mission of Mercy with the Michigan Dental Association. Did you hear about this? The mission with the Dental Association? Yeah. MDA, baby. Mental. Mental. <laughs> mental dental. <laughs> yeah. So listen to this. They're going to be giving out free dental work to all Flint residents. This well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Define free. Wait, wait. First, define dental work. What are you talking about? Just So you have these things in your mouth called teeth. Ooh, okay, and ooh. then what happens is, is they get holes in them, okay. and, they, and then they fill them with stuff. Uh, yeah. So fillings. They do all kinds of stuff. Uh, they're not doing root canals. They're not doing braces. They're not doing I don't know. lines. Like I, doing, I don't know. I was I trying to get to doing it. whitening. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check. <laughs> Wait. No. I don't like uh, the way you to me. I really don't. Uh, like flip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Flint, Michigan, the Mission of Mercy, in partnership with the Michigan Dental Association, 
will provide $2 million in free dental care to Flint residents at Dort Financial Center on Friday, June 14th, and Saturday, June 15th. Now, it opens up at 6 a.m. Hundreds of dentists and staff will volunteer their time, and the dental services will be on first-come, first-served basis. Basis? Basis. 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 Sis. Basis. <laughs> It's designed for everybody, so there's no restrictions, uh, says Cameron Elrod, Vice President of Michigan Dental Association Foundation. Nice. It's for people who either don't have the resources to afford dental care or they've slipped between the cracks. They have a job, uh, they don't have a job, they have a job and can't afford care, or it's disqualified for them from federal programs. Either way, we are not tracking who you are or where you're from, so anybody can show up. Mission of Mercy expects to service up to 2,000 people and according to Elrod, most of the time, everybody gets seen. Doors open at 6 a.m., and the event will close at maximum capacity. No ID income or residency restrictions or requirements, and translators are available on-site. Also, a shuttle from downtown Hub to Dort Federal Center will be available for participants. This is a very cool thing. It was super big last year. I imagine it will be bigger this year. They open at 6 a.m. I would advise you to get early because you're going to have a line and there's going to be a bunch of it. But this is an amazing thing. So if you're struggling and that's something that you have an issue with, Lord knows we all do, you can go down there and get it checked out. Paul? I want some Bubba teeth. Bubba? Have you seen the Bubba teeth? They're really jacked up. They're jacked up teeth. That you they would have to be if the name is Bubba. Yeah. You're, 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 <laughs> that's exactly what they look like. <laughs> Got the horse mouth. Just go, ah. I, just want, I just want to put him in and go in. <laughs> hey, can you guys just take a little bit off the top? <laughs> Listen, anytime that you're going to dentist and they're, the machine they're using has got a pull start, you're probably in deep trouble. I say you get a whole family to put the bubble teeth in. Listen, just mess with them. And just food for thought for the dental society. That sound that those drills, like, they need to work on that, making a different noise. I don't know if they can do that or not, but God, awful. That is a god awful sound. I would think if you would take your AirPods, you could do something about that. But it's from the inside, right? Because it's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's that. (laughs) Anyways, we got to get to local events because we're almost out of time. Three minutes left, buddy. What? Oh, my gosh. This one bike is having so much fun. What? No, we got four minutes. We got. We got six minutes. Carrie, six carry. minutes actually, but a minute for the end. So about five minutes, four minutes. So carry the two. We got four. Divide by one. Right. <laughs> Who are we going to? What are we going to? Well, we're going close. Going to Flint Beach Friday night. We got to see what we can do with down in Flint, right? Oh, local events. On Friday. Local events, baby. Is it Friday? It is April twenty sixth. That'd be the one. All night. Allegedly. Until noon, right? Oh, no, I mean midnight. Yeah, flip that, and then you're absolutely correct. All right. Uh, New Works Festival at Elgood Theater starts at 10 a.m. today. Uh, that's not going to do any good. It's it's five now. Oh, know. doggone it. How about the Symphony of the Soul, a night of music at the FIM Capitol Theater starting at 8 p.m.? That sounds pretty cool. Mm, the Symphony really of the good. Soul. Have you have you seen that? Symphony of the Soul. No, I have not. That's Saturday. Okay. That's Friday. And then they have at the machine shop. Uh-huh. You know where that's at? That's in Flint. I don't right. know if you're aware. All right. They're having the America's ACDC tribute band. That should be fun. Okay. ACDC guy? No. I, I was just asking for a We're friend. We're not going to take. Is that them? Uh, okay. No. Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck. No. Back in black. Back in black. Yo, you have heard it. What does he sound like? He's going to sound like Donald Duck was trying to do ACDC. You just crushed it. Oh, my goodness. I tried. Oh, man. Holy smokes. And then uh, Saturday, New Works Festival, El Good 10 a.m., FPSA, uh, faculty concert, season pass, MacArthur Recital Hall, uh, Rodrigo and Ravel. Uh, the Wedding Auditorium at 10 a.m. Factory Triple Zero at W's Music Factory. That sounds cool. Uh, man, I don't know if they, they have these now, but they had them before. Is the laser light shows down at the planetarium. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, my yeah, gosh. Yeah, you got yeah. Those are actually extremely... Of course, if you have a motion sickness issue, I would suggest not going. But if you don't, those things are really, really cool. Uh, 
And then uh, the machine shop uh, tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Fool House is going to be at the machine shop. And then uh, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, New Works Festival, El Good. They're sitting that out. A lot of fun stuff to do downtown, of course, other than just eat and hang out with your so buddies. So you know what i got to tell people? Because I like fun beating on, but um, uh, Genesee Fun. Dot com. Genesee Fun. When we do our That's calendars, not all Flint. Should, it is. It, well, it's Genesee County. It's more County. than Flint. Exactly. Yeah, but it's quiet. Well, let's, That's be, a let's be a team player. You want to do all the things that you want to do, Paul? Come on now, within a 30-mile radius. Come on. Come on. Yeah. We can't, we can't, we can't be stingy. Want to like be that. great when everybody gets along? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> You know, why can't we all just get along? Listen, we can check it out. There's bunches to do. Genesefund.com. Genesefund.com. And, you know, that's our friends down at the Arts Council. All right. We'll have to add them to the show. But I love Flintbeats.com. And they're Flint Beats, not Genesee Beats. That's why they do Flint stuff. Just for the record. <laughs> I figured it was in the name, but who knew? Well, I want to say that uh, uh, Ramona did that article that you just did. Yeah? Of course yeah, did. yeah, we know Ramona. We like her. We love Ramona. We love what are you Ramona? talking about? <laughs> All right. Welcome to the pros. Welcome to the pros. Oh, yeah. I think that's all we got, bud. Is that it? I think that's it. It's a wonderful Friday. Dude, it was love. There's I, no way that that's it. Dude, we accidentally had a lot of fun, and I hope you got a giggle out of this, and we will hopefully see you <laughs> well, next Well, you time. can't close yet because it's not time. It's not time. We're not going to talk about the alligators. We already talked about that. Are you going to pull time. out your newspaper? I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> wait a minute. I, I'm going to find something to <laughs> Uh, whether it's in a new, what is you What is? What I have is not funny seen anybody read a newspaper. Newspaper. All right, everybody, come on. You, you watch the news. You scroll on your phone. Right. You're over here, like with the paper out. Look. I'll tell you something. <laughs> you young, you young whippersnapper. Oh, snapper. You see that me right there? Yeah, yeah. That was made for that. That right there. And people who have not experienced that, they just don't know. Look at look. Aroma. Look, yeah. look. Dimension. Dimension. I like that. Watch it. Come here, puppy. I think it's because it's getting dementia. You see that? It's got multiple uses. Yeah, listen, you can use it for... <laughs> listen, you can use it for... <laughs> Thank God. I, I, I was like, if you just said, oh, my God. Oh, right. look, time to go. <laughs> Listen, we got a couple seconds, but we almost had our first prefab subdivision out in Genesee Township. What? The township clerks approved it, and the first guys that bought the 97 or 79 lots uh, were going to uh, uh, do laser printed or 3D printed homes. Okay. But I guess they backed out, and somebody else bought them, and they're doing groovy things. I got it up on the screen. If you can read it, you can read oh, it. Oh, from the newspaper. From the newspaper, bro. You know, I could probably Google that. Nah, don't you dare. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right. All right, guys. Uh, it's always been fun. We're going to check you out next week. Hey, we're looking for um, for cameos. If you guys would like to jack onto the show with us, um, have fun. Maybe uh, um, pose a question or two. We want to be what you want to see. <laughs> That's good. That was right off the cuff. Oh, <laughs> it was professional. Yeah. Very hey, good. Hey, wait a minute. Um, I'm going to put the camera on you. Listen, don't touch and my And I'm going to give you a chance. Wait a minute. Let's do this and this. And when I count to three, I want you to say something. I don't want it to be philosophical. I would like it to be just something nice. You ready? One, two, three. And you know what did is it? Let me get what I want If I was president I'd get elected on Friday Assassinated on Saturday